Hey everyone, welcome back to another My Stuff For You video. This time it is a lot of VHS movies, some games, some kids books, some reading books, some toys. So let me get on with it so this video is not an hour long because I tried to do one yesterday and it just came out way too long because I was describing each VHS so I set aside the ones of note and all the ones I'm showing you a lot of them haven't been tested but the tapes look clean they are all the correct tapes so they should play just fine with normal VHS quality but let me get started all right first I have the big case ones here's the dark crystal the princess and the goblin zoids spider-man neogenic nightmare the mighty Kong and the Hobbit in the first row and then there's the Double Dragon, Monster Mash, and on the regular movies. Got this horror movie, They Bite, Sleepy Hollow, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and this is the one with the amazing Jeff Goldblum. That one has plastic wrap over the cover, but it is opened. A lot of these I picked up. I didn't get to test them because my VCR died, but now I can pass them on to you, I guess. Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, which is an awesome movie. Demons, True Life, Evil Forces, which I think this is just like a stories of demon possession or something. Swamp Thing. I love that movie. Rocket Man, love that movie. Searched for this for years. Couldn't find it anywhere. Finally found a copy and my VCR died, so this one makes me really sad because I really wanted to watch that again. Ghidra, the three headed monster. I hate getting rid of this one too. I just love that cover artwork. Masters of the Universe. I wanted to keep that one for my Motu collection, but I just don't have room for them anymore. Conan the Barbarian, or Conan the Destroyer, actually. The Phantom, with this cool cover here where he punches you. And a note this one is a blockbuster rental. So. I'm not sure I didn't get to test this one but it might have more wear than the others here's a Beekman's world I know that one works because I tested it with and watched it with my daughter and that was quite awesome there's a David Lynch presents crumb which I wanted to watch that one but couldn't because of my VCR love at first bite I'm not sure if this is like a collector's but it has like the red thing there black tape with the red text printed on the tape the Adams family with uh, a few episodes on it from the classic TV series there's a Jaws the Revenge this time it's personal and planet of the dinosaurs I hate getting rid of that one too so I love love that I also have V the original miniseries I hate getting rid of this I really wanted to watch this it's a two tape set they're both in there it's just awesome I loved V growing up and then this is another two tape set Hercules and Hercules in the Haunted World but as of note the side of this case cracked 
and broken a few pieces I do have the pieces down there but I mean you might just and it's like got a crack along the edge on this thing so if you could find like another like busted tape or whatever and just take this panel piece off it'd probably work just fine because the tape is clean and everything but that's the first lot now moving on to the cartoons okay now on to the cartoons as of note this top row they all have like half of the tape on the the box on the back has faded art as you can see the color is lighter and then goes back to the normal color on the bottom I had a couple of them sitting up on my my like table by my window and the blinds were drawn but I guess the Sun still got through enough to fade like the part of the tape that was exposed I guess so these along the top row have that half fading some of them aren't that bad but some of them are I mean you can tell better in this one it's like where the Sun got it but like the other like the other section all these movies have been gone through and Correct tapes are in there. I haven't tested them all, so your guess is as good as mine. And I have a little pile over here of some more tapes that are of note, but let me go through these first. Get the Captain Power Bio Dread Strike Mission Skill Level 2, the Hanna Barbera. Presents Godzilla cartoon. This is like the original, like 60s or what, 70s. Um, this one does have masking tape on it. That's how I got it. So I can't see the date on there. Oh wait, there it is. 1978. Or 1976, actually. 1976. Pretty awesome. And there's three skeleton warriors. There is flesh and bone, heart and soul, and trust and betrayal. Now, I did watch those, and those were all, like, brand new, excellent condition tapes. The quality was really good. Note this one has a messed up box on the side, and there's like dings. The boxes are worn on all of these, there's edge wear and stuff. So, I mean, don't think you're getting a perfect brand new condition VHS, but they are just cool to have. It's a Bucky O'Hare, the Toad Menace. That box is pretty worn, has pretty beat up, but still cool to have dino riders this box is nice but it has the fading on the back and I have two of those but this box is like split on the side and has a piece chunk missing out of the top but the back is not faded so here's a couple X-Men Creator's Choice, number one and two, and X-Men Enter Magneto, which is also on the, one of these, it's uh, also on Creator's Choice, number two, but this one you get the cool comic cover box, you get G.I. Joe, volume three, Crime Doesn't Pay, this Playhouse Classics Volume 15 Spooky Tales with all these videos on it. 
this Beavis and Butthead hard cash. Now this is one of those um, movie rental place tapes, so I'm not sure of the quality of it, because I didn't get to test it. This is a manga, Ray Earth, Volume 1, English language version. But the, the case is just the straight black. You get the Street Fighter, the movie, Alpha. This is an awesome movie. You got the Iron Giant, which has a name horn written down there. You get Nin Ninja Resurrection, Hell Spawn. Great cartoon. Earthworm Jim. Bring me the head of Earthworm Jim. And uh, Sword of Righteousness. Two episodes. You get the Three Stooges. Animated cartoon. You get Lumpkin the Pumpkin. Pretty awesome. You get Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories. This one has Patrick's Dinosaurs. And what happened to Patrick's dinosaurs? And then there's also the there's a nightmare in my closet. There's an alligator under my bed, and there's something in my attic. The Mercer Mayor, like My Little Monster stories, which I really hate getting rid of this one. This one is still sealed in plastic, never been used, but this one has been opened. Then you get the Maury Sandak Library, with the, where the wild things are. Here's How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. I did watch that one. That one is awesome. You get this, uh, The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, The Legend of Grimace Island, which this one's cool. This looks like it's the same artist that does um, oh, Rugrats. This festival of animation. Spike and Mike. Which is awesome. I've seen a couple of those in the theater. Never disappoint. You get Mighty Max. Day of the Cyclops. Those mags. I really wanted to watch a lot of these 80's cartoons but never got the chance to. I still pick them up when I see them, but I guess that's good for you guys, because now you guys can get them. Here's a Starcom, Nantucket Sleigh Ride. Here's a Zoids, the Coliseum Battle. And here's a Zoids. I'm not sure what this one is. It's um, It just says, see cool preview of Z Gilder's characters in Zoids episode inside. It doesn't say what episode. I haven't got to watch it, so I don't know. And here is a Nintendo Enter the Jungle, November 21. It's like a Donkey Kong. I believe it's Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country. Exposed and here is a Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs, the Star Sheriffs Betrayal. That one looking super cool. Now I have these ones are of note. I also have Captain Planet and the Planeteers, Deadly Waters. But the tape has white mold on it. I haven't got to test it. So I doubt it works. I don't know if you know how to clean them or not. But these next few have white mold on them. I pretty much just got them because I wanted to build a, like a border on my wall. Like halfway up the wall with all these cool like 80's cartoon tapes for the artwork. 
So I'd pick them up regardless of condition and whatnot. I just really like the artwork. But if you're a VHS collector and want to have it, then, you know, let me know. I'll give you a deal. Another one with the white mold is this X-Men. I just love that cover. Narrated by Stan Lee, but it has white mold on it. This cops, the case of Big Boss's Bye Bye, and Visionaries and Knights of Magical Light. Now, I believe I, I, I watched this one. the The video was really good, but the sound was messed up. It does have the white mold on it, but it didn't look too bad but like I said the video the video was really good but the sound was messed up so if you could find like a like a sound clip online for this one the quality was really good you could tape it onto the computer and you know put them together and you would have a really nice episode this one I tested I couldn't get the sound quality was really good but the picture was, I couldn't get the picture in. I tried tracking, but every time it started to show, the tracking would go the wrong way or whatever. So I don't know, maybe you could get it to work with tracking. Or maybe you clean the white mold off and take care of the problem altogether. There's another one. This one has the Cinderella box, but it is actually the Sleeping Beauty same company that put them out which is oh, what is it oh the, the star maker and as, as you can see it's not rated so I'm not sure that got me curious and I wanted to watch it but I never got to but it is the wrong tape inside that box. Same company, just different cartoon from the series. I also have Small Soldiers, but it doesn't have the case or the box. And same with Disney's masterpiece, Lady and the Tramp. I do not have the uh, box. I got a couple DVDs. I got Lupin the third sweet betrayals awesome cartoon I usually keep my DVDs but it was in this box so I guess I'll throw it up there if anybody wants it if not I'll keep it here's this streetwise DVD Henry Rollins and it has all this stuff here it's cool music compilation Compilation, however you want to say it. Kind of like a music magazine in the form of a DVD. I have the digital copy of the Incredible Hulk first movie. Here is one of those like dollar store Night of the Living Dead copies. I don't even know if I opened this one yet. Still has the sticker thing on there. So He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Origins 10 episodes the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I already have it there's the uh, disc there's one disc I don't know if there was supposed to be two or not but if it's only supposed to be one then there it is Also, have a couple of South Parks, Volume One and Volume Five, and all these DVDs look really good. I know the South Parks look brand new. I think the the Mo Two and the Streetwise might have very slight scuffing from what it looks like when you pull it out of the little sleeve, but that shouldn't affect anything. So that's the movies, 
have at it friends those are the VHS and now on to the books and games alright these are the games I have I have the PlayStation Gran Turismo 2 both discs are in there they look clean the games might have like some slight scuffing but they should play just fine Here's the PlayStation 2 Ghost Recon 2 and PS3 Borderlands 2. Now this one has some damage to the like cover sleeve. Not the actual plastic part, but the paperwork. Looks like it's stuck to the inside of the cover and got torn or something. It's a smash mouth. Like Fushu Man, Fushu Man, Pushu Man. <laughs> anyway, and this Battle Magic book on tape. This looks really cool. I love. I love this artwork. It's what drawn me to it. Wanted to listen to it, but I never got the chance. All six tapes are included. If you do get it, let me know how it is. It just looks awesome. Also, here's some t-shirts. The only reason I'm getting rid of these is because they don't fit me. Here is a Zelda one. This is size medium. I need large. Same with this one. I really hate the, to get rid of this one. I wanted to... I was thinking about actually cutting this out and putting it onto another bigger shirt or something. Because this is just awesome. But this is, uh, I believe, size medium as well. No, actually this one is a small looks about the same size as the medium though I got this t-shirt here which is Ash teaching the members of the Walking Dead how to kill zombies shoot first think never love this shirt I really wish it would have fit me but it is a medium medium and this is another awesome shirt which is a medium as well but it's the uh, run DMC with cat heads it's just an awesome shirt and the last shirt I have that is also a medium is the ultimate warrior distressed look very cool those are the shirts and the games and book on tape and a CD. Now on to the actual books. Alright, here are some books. Let's start out with the novels. Here's a Clive Barker, The Hellbound Heart. I already have it, so this is a double. It's like, like new condition. Clean white pages. I don't see any writing in them. Very nice copy. Robocop 2 um, has a price sticker in there, but I think that's the only writing or only thing in there. Pages are starting to yellow, but not bad. Cool stuff. Steve Alt in the trench. Um, I believe I bought this new. So I really like Steve Alton's style. But it has been read. Great book. Same with The Goliath. Very nice. Great read. There is The Dragon Realm, The Crystal Dragon. If you like fantasy books, it's good stuff. And Shadow Run Into the Shadows. Let's see pages are yellowing I don't think there was any writing in it
Uh, it's actually like a used bookshop stamp in there. And it looks like there's a little chip on the cover, but like I said, these books have been read. Here's a Dune series. This is a book on CD. All the CDs are there. They're all in great, like, new condition. It does have a price tag of $10 on it. But that is Dune Messiah. And then I also have God Emperor of Dune. Children of Dune. And Dune Messiah, the book. Alright, here's some manga. This is actually... A manga studio de debut for a computer program how to do anime comics I don't know if everything is in here I know there's a couple discs um, just empty the contents to show here's a little pamphlet Here's the Manga Studio de Debut 4 and a serial number on there and another disc. So it looks like you get both discs, but it doesn't have a booklet or anything in there. So you just have to figure everything out, I guess. But if you want it, it's yours. I also have the Manga Death at Death's Door. And Chrono Crusade, which is a good one. Love the cartoons for that. All right, here's some The Great Brain by Mercer Mayer, books one, six, and seven. Here's an Indiana Jones, the Temple and the Temple of Doom, a tale of high adventure. I believe this is the actual movie adaptation awesome color photos in it love that movie it's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde does have a crease along there pages look like they're starting to yellow I don't recall any writing in it no here's a Jokes to tell your worst enemy. Crazy stuff. I always pick up these little joke books for my daughter. I like to read them. It does have some yellowing going on. Here is something queer at the haunted school, a mystery. An old Dell book. It does have a library sticker and price tag on there and it's still got the library card thing in here with an unused library card still awesome and adventure in the haunted house a troll book uh, these one not yellowing too bad just like just starting to looks like I don't see any writing in that one here is a Nintendo Adventure Books number five featuring the Super Mario Brothers. Now this one, I mean it's starting to yellow on the side, but none of the activities have been done. I don't see any writing in it. it. Looks almost brand new. Flash Gordon Mazes, which this one does have a few that are written in pen. Quite a few of them that haven't been written in and a couple that have like pencil that have been erased there's a pen one there's one that looks like it's been tried to be erased but the artwork is still awesome in it very cool old book hate getting rid of it here's yuck it up with urkel it's got a price sticker on there pages look nice and white it's got some awesome full color pictures in the center very cool 
and a Karate Kid Part 3 activity book that is unused. Very cool find. Can be yours. Here's a Star Wars The Mose Isley Cantina Scratch and Sniff. Now all the scratch and sniffs have been scratched to hell and they don't sniff anymore. But it's got some cool Star Wars pictures. The cover does have some damage from being red and stuff, but here is a Golden Books Star Wars Return of the Jedi movie book with all kinds of awesome pictures from the movie. It has one of these stamps in it. Looks like a some kind of stain there. I believe it's got like a water stain or something on the back. You can't really tell on the back cover. There's like some spotting going on but on the inside you can see like there and there but not bad the pictures still all look really good and here's a Jurassic Park the movie storybook got a little dog ear and a couple little dog ears on the inside but other than that awesome pictures from the movie Very, very cool. Here's a couple of hardbacks. Some Muppet Babies. Good night, Sir Kermit. Very clean. Awesome artwork. Star Wars, the Wookiee storybook. It's got a little name written up there, which looks like pencil. I don't see any other writing awesome vintage book but it does look like the it's like starting to separate from the cover but it's still fastened it's just like like the old books with string I guess but you can still see where it's attached but I don't know if it's separating or not still looks good but it does have a couple chips out of it like normal old books like this still very cool it's a science fiction adventure way out with these writers very very cool it's a hardback looks like it's got a couple names one in pencil one in red marker doesn't really bleed through to the next page though I believe that's all the writing very cool love that back cover now this is a Disney diary is what it looks like it's got like a sticker residue up here Otherwise, the book is like brand new, all blank pages. And this is from 1982. Very cool. And these are awesome. Fright Time. Now, these have some sufficient cover wear and stuff like that, and some of the pages are yellowing. But every time I'd seen one I'd pick it up because they're just too cool not to this is number 12 love that cover it's number four this one looks to be in really nice shape pages are still pretty white covers not all beat up number three the same doesn't look all beat up covers really nice pages are really nice and number one which is the most beat up which it's been loved looks like a little looks like it's got a water stain there only goes through a few pages though it's 
still cool to have. And then this one is in really nice shape. Bruce Coville's Book of Nightmares, Tales to Make You Scream. Really nice cover. Nice white pages. I don't see any writing on it. Very cool. There's the books. Now on to the toys. Alright, I just grabbed a little bit of toys out of the, the bin because I wanted to have some toys in this video, but the video is already getting long, so I just grabbed a, a stack and then next week I'll have a bunch of superhero stuff, some mint on card stuff, some Star Wars stuff, all just all kinds of stuff. But here, let me get started with this. I got this big KO Ninja. He does have his backpack. It looks like one of these pegs is broke off. I'm not sure if he works. I haven't tested him, but he looks cool. I love those things, but I just don't have a lot of room anymore. I got this big evil Toy Story villain, and he does work, and he says... I don't think I ever got through all the sayings he says, because he just says tons of them, and he's really tall. Probably at least 14, 15 inches tall or something. And then you got this big stormtrooper here. I was going to do a custom figure with him, but if somebody wants him, let me know. I got this vintage Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator figure. He is missing his glasses. It looks like one of his fingers is broke. And I know he doesn't work. Screws on his back are are rusty. But if you find some new screws, then, you know, he'll clean up nice. You could probably get him to work, maybe, I don't know. He's mostly like a display figure. Still cool, though. Got this E.T. plushie. Looks like he still has a the thing through his hand but the cards missing and he's got a little damage on his toe you can't really tell from the top but underneath you get a better look there you go so one of his toes is damaged but if he's on display you can't really tell because it's underneath got this awesome vintage dinosaur bank here it is missing the plug but it is from 1987 very cool hate getting rid of it but I need room here's a vintage Ghostbusters helicopter missing the helicopter blades I believe it came with a missile or something something that plugged in down there so it is missing a couple pieces but the stickers look really nice on it and it still has the wind-up thing and the wind-up mechanism still works here is a, another stretch screamer Here is a Little Tykes scuba diver. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I believe this is a set. This is a oversized Mega Blocks figure set with the, the Ogre Troll and this little hero figure. I can't remember what it's called, but like I said, that is a set. Here's a couple G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figures. Just the figures. I don't have any of the weapons or accessories that went with them. But if you need those, they are yours. Alright, here is a couple vinyl Disney 
and the seven dwarves figures two of the set um, here's a couple of the like Zoids wolves or cats like saber tooth cats or something this one looks like a saber tooth and this one looks more like a just a regular cat or wolf this one I believe is complete this one is missing like two of these things that holds one of his legs on so the leg keeps popping off but if you steady it it will stand up oh awesome I hate getting rid of these but like I said I just I gotta pick and choose but those are awesome um, alright I forgot what these things were called it's hard doing all this with one hand I believe these all come from the same group um, I'm having a brain fart on what they're called now but you get this guy get this military guy you get this Mac tonight moonhead guy you get this military guy and you get this uh, human torches daughter number two looking girl I believe like I said I believe well, I'm pretty sure these three are in the same set these are from the same company but different set probably they kind of look like mini miniaturized rescue heroes but if you need those they are available here's a bunch of those um, not mashems but mashup figure parts there's some Star Wars, there's some Transformers. I don't think any of them are complete. But they are good for extra building. The Inquisitor is almost complete. And he does have his weapon here. But he is missing like one one of his feet so I have this blue one on there otherwise I believe he's mostly complete and then you get the guy from Rebels who looks mostly complete anyway he's missing one arm and one leg so he had a horrible war accident but then like I said you get Transformers parts some legs or some Star Wars bodies. General Grievous is mostly complete. Looks like he's missing the bottom part of a leg and the bottom part of one of his arms. But here's an extra, like the back arms. Another Star Wars figure. So if you have a bunch of just extra random parts or like making custom figures, this is a cool bag for you. These things are pretty neat. I don't know if they're really considered as toys. They're kind of like blocks. I was going to use them as an art project. Still might if nobody grabs them, but they're just these weird like clown figures. But they come in a few different colors. Here's green. There's blue and there's red. I think there's like three of each, except there's only two green and there's four yellows. But the blue have three and the red have three. Actually, wait. Looks like the blue only have two. Thought there were three of them unless one fell out. But pretty cool little crazy clown set if you're into clowns. Here is a Star Wars General Grievous game controller. I'm not sure what game controller it goes to. But uh, 
I picked it up because I thought it looked cool. I really like Grievous, so if you need it, it's yours. It's a little bag of Sesame Street parts. Let's see what's in here. If I can get them out. It's hard. Oh, here we go. Come on. All right, here's a little Grover fireman outfit. Pretty heavy paint wear on these two figures here. It's a big bird. And Grover from that set. Here's a cookie monster, which doesn't look like this is the correct piece that goes on the back there. And he's missing the front piece. But Elmo looks to be complete. He's got the back and the front piece of his plane. Here's a big bird truck here. A little dirty. Probably clean it up. It's a little Elmo figure. And here's a little Ernie figure in his car. There's a Sesame Street lot. And lastly for this video Here is a pile of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Um, you get this car piece and what looks to be like a like a wind-up push-along figure it goes in the car like so. It's a little mini Mikey. Here's the spider figure from the Nickelodeon cartoon, minus his leg, head, tentacle things. It's just one of those display heads. I got the turtle and Rocksteady. For those, here's a Shredder Dealy Do. A Leo, just a little display PVC piece, I guess. It says Cowabunga on there. Sword looks a little bent, but probably fix that. It's a mini splinter. Here's a Donatello keychain. It's a little car. Looks like a turtle was supposed to go in there, but I don't have that. It's like a Nerf gun bullet for a turtle gun. Here's a little Mikey keychain. These things are cool. There's a little totem pole pieces. There's three of them. Looks like it's missing Donatello, but you got Raph, Mikey, and Leonardo. And here's a Mikey figure. And one of the little Foot Clan ninjas. This is actually just parts for the motorcycle. For one of the motorcycles. I used the front wheel a custom piece I did but I mean all the rest of the pieces are in here if you want it I'll just throw it in your box and there you go my friends there is today's video stay tuned for next Saturday morning my stuff for you video because like I said there'll be like Marvel Legends and all kinds of superhero figures some Star Wars figures quite a few mint on card figures I broke into some of my mint on card bins so I could have some mint stuff for you but until then my friends have at it
grab what you want let me know we can work out a deal until then peace